Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to learn how to create presets in the Develop module in Lightroom Classic so that we can speed up our workflow and also maybe achieve a more consistent look and feel to our images. I'm going to start by making some edits. I want to convert this image to black and white, so under Treatment, I'll click black and white, and that will apply the Adobe Monochrome profile. Then I want to add a bit of a sepia tone, so under Color Grading, I'll add a little bit of red to the shadows and a little bit of orange to the midtones. Then I'll darken the edges by using the effects and decreasing the amount slider and increasing the feather. I also want to enhance the sky, so I will choose the masking tools and then select sky. Lightroom Classic uses artificial intelligence to automatically select the sky in the image, and I'll add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of dehaze. Then I'll double click on Mask 1 just to rename this Enhance Sky to make it easier to select in just a moment. Now if we want to apply these edits to additional images, we can make our presets. And I've noticed that photographers typically create presets in one of two different ways. They either save each individual edit or small groups of edits as presets, so they can kind of mix and match and combine those presets in different ways, or they save several different edits as a single preset to apply a specific look or feel to the image. All right, let's start creating presets by clicking on the plus icon and choosing Create Preset, or we can use Command Shift N on Mac or Control Shift N on Windows to display the new Develop Preset window. I'm going to create a new group to put these presets into. For now, I'll call it Demo. And then I'm going to give the preset a name. In this case, 01 Convert to Black and White then I'll want to select whichever settings I want to capture within this preset. So I'll check None, and then enable Treatment and Profile, which will apply the Adobe Monochrome Profile and convert the image to grayscale. When I choose to create this, we can see that group has been created in the Presets panel, and there's my first preset. All right, let's create our second preset. I'll call this O2 Color Grading uncheck the Treatment and Profile, and choose Color Grading instead. With Color Grading, there's also an option to support an amount slider, and that's going to enable me to either back off or amplify the effect of the preset. All right, next I want to create a preset that will save just the vignette settings. So I'll enable Post Crop Vignetting and call this O3 Vignette Darken. I'll be sure to support the amount slider and create that. And then let's make a change to our vignette. Here I'll increase the amount, decrease the feather, as well as the roundness and the midpoint. I'll return to the plus icon and call this 04 Vignette White Border. I'll leave that checked and create it. I also want to save that Select Sky Mask so I'll create a preset, call it 05, Enhance Sky, uncheck the Post Crop Vignetting, and enable the Enhance Sky Mask. So now we have our five presets that we can combine together in many different ways. I can quickly toggle between the dark vignette or the vignette with a white border. And if I move to the next image, I can choose to convert it to black and white, add the color grading, but maybe change the amount add a dark vignette, and enhance the sky. Because we're on a different image, Lightroom Classic will automatically recalculate the Select Sky Mask and apply the edits. Now if I want to make a one-click preset, then all we need to do when we're creating our preset is select all of the different values that we want to include. I'll call this 06 one click sepia, support the amount slider, and then create it. Now when I move to the next image, if I want to apply all of those different edits with a single click, we can just use that preset. We can see that it saves time, but it's not as flexible. And if I were to use the amount slider to back off or to amplify it, it's going to change all of the adjustments that were made in the entire preset. So you don't have quite as much control. 
Of course, we could always return to the individual panel and make adjustments there if needed. And if I wanted to make a specific change, like adding a white border, I could use that preset. Now to apply presets to multiple images, we can select the images in the film strip, make sure that auto sync is enabled, and then select the preset. Lightroom Classic will automatically recalculate the select sky mask and apply the effects in the sky for each different image. You can also apply presets in the library using the saved preset drop-down menu in Quick Develop, or by using the painter tool set to settings and then selecting your preset, as well as on import in the apply during import develop settings drop-down. You probably notice that Lightroom Classic also ships with a number of presets. So these adaptive presets are examples of presets that include the AI masking tools like that select sky mask that we just created. Other presets are designed to be applied to portraits. Some of them are for seasons and styles as well as video. Of course, you can try any preset on any different image, and I would highly encourage you to explore all of these presets, not only for inspiration, but also as an educational tool, because you can always go and look at what options were changed in all of the different panels after applying the preset. All right, let's look at a few tips and shortcuts before we wrap up. If you ever want to rename one of your presets, you can just right click and choose to rename it. If you need to update or modify a preset, you can make any changes that you want, then right click and choose to update with current settings and make the needed changes in the update develop presets window. And if it bothers you that the large preview area changes every time you roll over a preset, you can always disable that by choosing Preferences, and under Performance, disabling the Enable Hover Preview of Presets on Loop. This prevents the preview in the large area, but you can see in the Navigator, we can still see a preview of the different presets. Now to selectively hide and show groups of presets, we can click on the plus icon and choose to manage presets, then use the check to toggle the visibility of our preset groups. And then if we ever want to reset the visibility of all of our presets, we can right click on the preset group, not an individual preset, but the group and choose to reset hidden presets. If you have a lot of presets, but only use a few of them often, we can right click on a preset and add them to our favorites. Lightroom Classic will automatically add a favorites group at the top of the presets panel. If you've purchased presets or received presets from a third party, you can load them by clicking the plus icon and choosing import presets, navigate to the zip file and then import them. Here we can see that imported folder with all of the different presets. Now this folder of presets only changes the values in the color grading panel. Here I'll apply a few of the different presets, but if I decide that I want to remove those options, well you'll notice I've also created a reset color grading preset. So this reset preset will just zero out the values in the color grading panel, but leave all of the other changes that I made to the image as they were. Finally, if I want to export a single preset or a group of presets, I can right click on an individual preset to export it, or right click on a group to export the entire group of presets. If you're interested in knowing more about ISO adaptive presets or creating presets to use as raw defaults, storing presets with catalogs and more, please see my blog at jcost.com. I'm Julianne. Thanks for watching.